Good uh, morning. Good morning. It is morning. Uh, welcome along to the Film by Run 500. I'm not, um, not going to do full incline today. I'm just keeping it easy. He says, as the incline goes up. Right, this is weird. Hope you're all well. Um, morning, Jonathan. We are in New York and uh, we're going to go up onto the sky roads in a minute. And I'm going to try not to cough for the whole run. Right, weirdly, I can't control the incline from this treadmill. I'm trying to put the incline down. And it's not going down. Oh well, maybe I am doing incline after all. Yeah, ill again. Although I have, I've been ill for about f uh, five days, four days. So I'm, I am actually getting better now. Jonathan Perkin is still recovering. HRV is through the floor, but he's going to uh, see what happens. And he's going at 12% just for fun. Well, <clears throat> looks like I'm going at 12%. If not, a bit more, actually. I'm going to have to get off and have a look at the Kinney app and see what's going on. OK, that's interesting. Tiago, I am feeling a bit better, actually. Um, I'm still coughing a lot. But yeah, I think I am feeling a bit, a bit better. So we'll see what happens over the next day or so. Hopefully by the weekend, I'll be back to normal again. It's only been a few days, so it's I think, quite a short bout of uh, man flu, I think. <laughs> But still, yeah, still coughing. I'm just going to have a look at the Kinney app again, excuse me. Yeah, there's something not quite right about the, the interaction with the Kinney app and the new 10i treadmill. They're not, they don't seem to be compatible quite. Anyway, we're now at 5.5 kph and um, we are starting to climb up the sky roads. Although, like I said, I'm not doing any elevation. Jonathan Perkin is being very brave. 
and going for elevation. Uh, Tina Beard, good morning. Strengthen. Oh, straighten your cap. Straighten your cap. Thank you, Tina. Um, she says, I hope you feel better. Yeah, yeah, so do I. Darn it. I do not want to be... Well, I'm sure we won't be ill for when you guys come for the, uh, the marathon. I'm sure we'll be fine for that. So, yeah, just, just taking it easy this morning. Don't want to risk the lungs. Getting anything down on the chest. Nick Dumbleton, good morning to you. I tell you what, it's a horrible day here. It's absolutely blowing a gale, really windy, almost storm-like winds and raining. It's not pleasant. Uh, Nick says, what, what time is bag that badge tonight? It'll be 6 p.m. And we are doing chili pepper. So it's uh, 8.3 kilometers tonight. The chili pepper route, 6 p.m. UK time. Uh, Tina says the rain is biblical there. Gosh. I mean, maybe that's coming over here then. Because it wasn't raining first thing this morning. So maybe, maybe what you've got is on the way over here. <laughs> uh, Elsa's uh, it's raining over here also um, I need to get to the gym but I'm going to wait until um, 2 I'm not going to get soaked yeah just hang around until it's uh, until it's a bit drier although you never know it might not dry up at all it might just stay constantly soaking wet right Nick's going to join us tonight thank you Nick yeah I'll definitely be around tonight 6 o'clock I was considering not doing this, but I think it's easy enough. It's easy enough for me to walk this out and just gently jog um, on the flat. It's fine. So I'm not going to do myself any injuries by doing that. <clears throat> it's just um, doing the full elevation is probably not a good idea. And you will have to excuse me uh, <coughs> coughing up phlegm. <laughs> Tina's going to join us tonight if it's nice and slow. Well, what would you consider nice and slow, Tina? I'm, I'll do nine. Do you want me to do nine tonight? Yeah, okay, nine it is. So the, the beacon group, the lead yellow beacon will do nine KPH tonight. So that means we'll be done in just under an hour. Um, I had another message from Zwift HQ the other day about my kit. And I'm now I've been promised again that th they've, they've hugely apologized and said it will be in the next release. Oh, no. Is it 6.2? Anyway, the next one or this one coming up or the one after that release, it, it will be in. So let's see if the kit gets altered next time around.
Uh, Nick has Nick has purchased himself an orange running top so he can match in with everyone else wearing their orange Zwift tops. Um, I have we have a few here, so um, if anybody wants to to run in a Zwift top, then by all means. Uh, do and uh, I can lend you one if you haven't got one. Victoria has two. Obviously, Victoria will be wearing one, so she can lend one uh, female uh, Zwift top out if anybody wants that. Right now, we haven't auto. Oh, we're not there yet. That's why. Uh, so we're automatically supposed to go up to six now. Six kph, and Kinney is about twenty meters away. If you can see, you can see on the right hand side of the. Just in there, you can see nine, eight, six, five, three, two, one. Automatically changed to six. No, it didn't. You see, this is the weird thing. Uh, thanks for the ride on, Mike. So the Kinney app sometimes works, and it sometimes doesn't. That's very strange. Very strange. Uh, yeah, Tina says, looking at the weather forecast, we're all going to be in waterproofs for the Brighton Marathon and 10K. Um, although, well, I looked at my map says, my weather forecast says it's not going to be too bad during the actual run. Let me find my weather prediction. Hold on. So I've got Worthing, which is really, you know, it's neither here nor there, eight miles, nine miles away from Brighton. And night, between nine o'clock and midday, it's supposed to not be raining. Hang on. So that's what I've got. Excuse me. But obviously that can all change, can't it? Jonathan Perkin is going to be wearing his jog on top. I'm not sure I'm not sure we should allow that on a film my run event. Jonathan. Do we allow another YouTuber's shirt on a film my run event? Oh, go on then. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll be wearing my Zwift top, seeing as I don't actually have a film my run shirt in real life. When am I going to organise that? I I really have to do that sometime, don't I? It's just it's it's finding. I don't know how these other guys do it because I want to find somebody who can design a really nice shirt, and then I need to find a company who I'm happy with. To, to make it at not a ridiculous cost. <clears throat> oh, right, hang on. Now Tina's thinking she might wear her pack top. So we'll have Jonathan in his jog on top. We'll have Tina in her pack top. No doubt we'll have somebody wearing a ZLDR yellow top. I may as well wear this. Shall I wear this? Shall I wear my Noble Pro top? Oh dear. <sighs> Morning, Paul. Shouldn't you be? Oh no, he's on holiday, isn't he? Paul Hayward is on holiday. Very nice. Easter holidays. This is the last day of school for my daughter. She has gone to school today, even though she's still not very well. We will see you, Tina. We'll be there cheering you. I think, doesn't the 10K start earlier? Oh, mind you, we'll have to be lining up for the marathon, won't we? So, yeah, no, we probably won't see you. We'll see you at the end. You'll, you can come and see us at the end. Right, Nick Dumbleton says uh, the marathon, the purple wave, starts at 10.43. 
What what um, wave is 1043? Is that four hours? Because I'll be with you, Nick, if that's right. Or are you with Victoria? Uh, heart rate is 150 already for Jonathan. He says that's what no two weeks of no running does for you. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't even risked it, uh, Jonathan. So I'm not I'm not even going to bother. My heart rate's 83 because I'm walking. So, uh, yeah, I mean, don't worry. Right, Nick Dumbleton says five hours plus. Yeah, okay. So you'll be running with Victoria, hopefully, if you can all find each other. Um, 10.43 start time for the purple wave. My goodness, Tina has to be in her start pen for 7.30 in the morning for an 8.45 start. Good grief. Okay, so, right. I'm sure you don't have to be in the pin, pen that early. 7.30, you'll be in the pen for like an hour and a quarter before you start running. That's madness. I'm, I'm not happy, she says. Um, I, do you know what? I haven't actually checked what time I'm supposed to be in my pen and what time we start. But I imagine if, if the five hour runners are starting at 10.43, then I would imagine the four hour runners will be starting at around 10.15, something like that. Oh yeah, Nick says they have to be in the pen at 9.45. Gosh, okay. So you you have to be there an hour before. Tina, why do you have to cycle to the start? Not all the way from Somerset. Why do you have to cycle? What well, aren't you getting a taxi or something or the train or something? Why don't you? Why are you cycling to the start? Are you being green? <laughs> All right, we're over a mile in with a mile and a half to go and I'm still walking. I might break into a jog soon, but I am not doing any work this morning. I'm simply here uh, to, uh, to complete the distance and, uh, and chat to you guys. Uh, Nick, I don't know what colour I, I, I'm... <sighs> Where do I find that out? I can't remember. Let me have a look and see if I can look it up. Um, uh, emails, Brighton Marathon emails. Let's just find out what wave I'm in. I did take a photograph of my thing, actually. That'll be on the the group. So hold on, actually. If I look at the if I look at the WhatsApp group, there'll be a photo on there that I took. Brighton Marathon Meetup. Here we go. Oh, yes, I see Tina's. I'm not amused with my 7.30 a.m. check-in. Very good. So everyone else is posting their... Where's mine? There's me. I've opened my envelope, I say. Okay. I am in the grey wave. I'm in the grey wave. So whatever grey wave is... I could look it up again, couldn't I? I'm imagining it's a 10.15 start. Oh my goodness. Okay, 10.28 start. In the pen at 9.15. I don't even get up at that time. What is going on? Okay, nine. I've got to be in my pen at 9.15. So anyone else who's doing four hours with me, we have to be in the pens at 9.15. Okay, and we start at 10.28. So, uh, that, well, I tell you what will be nice. 
Oh, no, no, because you're starting after. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't like 7.30, Tina, that is for sure. Right, we are coming to the end of this kilometre. So we're about to speed up with two kilometres left to go. So I could... Right, let's see if it... Let's see if Kinney speeds up automatically. Uh, we've got 43 metres before Kinney automatically speeds me up. It didn't do it last time. It might do it this time. You never know. I'm guessing it's not going to. Yeah, and see, it has done it. It's done it automatically. That's so weird. So it didn't do it last time, but it's done it this time. That's just ridiculous. Uh, Nick says, are you getting the train over in the morning or staying in Brighton? Um, if you're asking me, uh, Nick, we're, we'll be getting the train over in the morning. Uh, we might even be driving over and park somewhere. Um, We'll have to see. Um, we might. Victoria works very near um, Preston Park, which is where we have to line up. Uh, we might be cunning enough to get a parking space at Victoria's work. And then we can just walk down the hill to Preston Park. Right, I've started running, but I am at 0% incline. Uh, thank you for the ride on Yoko. We have two kilometers to go to the end of the Film My Run 500, although there's no 500 for me today. And we'll do a nice easy run tonight. Bag that badge at six o'clock. Uh, Tina is off out to uh, lunch. Have a good one, Tina. See you tonight. She is a lady who lunches. Tina is a lady who lunches. And we wouldn't expect anything less. I, I assume there will be doilies involved. Paul Hayward has soup for lunch. <clears throat> Actually, I might speed up and catch, catch Jonathan up. He's only 16 seconds in front of me.
Running in no man's land is never fun, yes. Always nice to be running with people. One mile to go. Here we go, I can slow down now. Okay. Uh, Paul Hayden signed up for Cheltenham Half Marathon, which is on Cheltenham Racecourse. So he says he needs to get more running done outside. So if it's on Cheltenham Racecourse, Paul, does that mean it's on grass? Is Cheltenham Half Marathon actually on grass? Excuse me. Oh, Wilkeland from Sweden racing past us there. <sighs> okay, Paul says no, it's on flat tarmac and grass and gravel, sorry. Flat tarmac and gravel. Okay. So it's not actually on the bit that the horses race on then. It's just, it's kind of round the road that goes round the, uh, the course, I imagine. The emergency access roads. I remember doing a, a half marathon on an airfield a few years ago. What was that one? It was called the Spitfire Half Marathon. Um, and it was on the airfield that they used to use. Uh, you know when they used to do um, a star in a reasonably priced car on Top Gear? That was, the, uh, that was the airfield that they used to drive on. I can't remember what it's called now. Not far away from here. And it was a really windy day. But I enjoyed it. It was a good run. But I've never run on a race course before. That's it, Jonathan Dunsfold. Yes. Okay, so time to speed up again now for the final kilometre. Just about to hit three kilometres done, 1.2 to go. <clears throat> and away we go. Oh, I should have, hang on, no, I need to wait and to, let's see if Kinney, let's see if Kinney changes it automatically. 25 metres to go. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen there, the Kinney app, and uh, 10 metres, nine. Let's see if it automatically changes my speed up to seven. Yes. Okay. Uh, Darren Chandler Singh, thank you very much for the ride on. Right, let's get this final kilometer and a bit done and then we'll um, we'll be back tonight for bag that badge for the chili pepper route 
which is 8.3k. We're going to do that at 9 kph tonight. Nice and relaxed. <clears throat> Thank you for joining today. Well done, Jonathan, for uh, braving incline when he's only just coming back from being ill. Uh, Nick Dumbleton says, how can you make yourself less reliant on fueling over a marathon distance? Is it just fitness or making the body learn over time? It's both of those things, Nick. So. It's going out regularly, not every time, but regularly fasted. So you don't eat anything on your long run. So you could do 20 miles, even longer, at a slow pace, and don't take anything to eat. And it'll, it'll be horrible at first because it feels awful and you really feel like you need to eat food. But if you get through that, eventually your body adjusts and it starts to um, metabolize fat much more efficiently as a fuel source. So you won't need to rely so much on gels and uh, sugary rubbish. Um, but you must, but it's a, it's a combination of going out and doing fasted runs but also doing long runs. So you must you must do those long runs as well. Uh, heart rate 161 for Jonathan, so not horrendous, he says. Good job. 700 meters left to go. My, my feeling for many um, inexperienced or even, even some experienced marathon runners is that they don't do enough long mileage. You know, they'll do, they'll follow a training plan and the training plan will, will give you one, possibly two 20 mile runs in there. And for me, that's not enough. You know, I think, I think if you're training for a marathon, you should be doing three or four 20 mile runs and, and even longer. And you know, I've done, so, so let's say that I am training for London Marathon. In my training block, I will have done two full marathons and three 20 mile runs. 
one of them a race in the lead up. So I've done um, the Stenning Stinger Marathon about three or four weeks ago. I will be doing Brighton Marathon next week. I did the uh, Kings, um, Kingston on Thames 20 mile race a couple of weeks ago. I did a 20 mile run last weekend and I'm well, I might not get this one done actually if I'm not very well, but they're supposed to be supposed to be doing 20 miles this weekend as well. So, you know, I'll have done three 20 mile runs and two marathons in training for a marathon. And um, Jonathan says, when I am fit, I do weekly 19 mile runs and I still struggle. So yes, I would agree. Yeah, I think you do need to go longer than 20 miles. At least, at least once. Right, we're not far off now. Coming up to the arch and we'll speed up to 8 kph for the final 200 meters. I tell you why, it's a bit too tempting to do this all we every time with no incline. It's nice and easy with no incline. Hopefully we'll be back on it next week. We'll be doing another Film My Run 500 next Tuesday in Scotland. And then we'll be back in New York on Thursday. So come and join us for those. Hopefully I'll be able to stick the incline back up to where it should be. Uh, great job, everyone. Thanks for joining this week. We'll be here again every Tuesday and Thursday at the same time. But we will see you tonight for Bag That Badge. Six PM UK time tonight, seven PM Central European time. I'm going to go for a shower and yes, a shave. Definitely going to have a shave. <laughs> you know, when you're so unwell that you just can't be bothered to shave. That's that's how it's been. <sighs> And there we are. Yeah, well done, everyone. Thank you for joining. Thanks for the chat. Good chat, actually, today. Nice lot of people. Paul Haywood, uh, Lee, I think it's Lee or is it just L? Uh, Jonathan Perkin, Nick Dumbleton. Cheers, guys. Tina as well earlier on. Thank you for joining in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tonight um, for Bag That Badge. Take care, everyone. Bye.